Hello everyone, welcome to Nails of Interest. I was asked by a friend to form a nail on my flexi finger, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm going to attempt a little bit trickier, okay, a lot trickier. I'm going to try to do a four leaf clover in it and some other glitter artwork. So here comes my flexi finger. First thing I do on my own nails is I wipe off with, nine, well actually I spray it. I get out my 99% alcohol and I spray my nails, spray under my nails, make sure everything's clean and sanitary. Then I get out my a brand new file, a nice clean file, and I will take my nail surface and I will file it this way, file it this way, make sure there's no shine and there's a little something for the nail to grab onto or the gel to grab onto the nail with. And then it'll be dusty, so I will get out that three parts alcohol to one part acetone mixture that I have mixed up earlier. I will put a link up there if you would like to see that video. And then I take it and I really, I spray it on here if it's my own nail. I let it sit in there and then I'll rub it off, make sure there's no dust, no anything on there. And that, on your own nail, it'll turn white. It'll look ashy looking. That's what you want. You want it to be dehydrated. You want no shine on your nail. You want nothing, nothing, nothing on that nail. And I've also got a new to me form in the NSI Platinum Forms. I'm gonna give those a shot. Why my flexi finger has a bandage on it is because this is real silicone. Silicone and tape type things don't want to stick. So I put that on there. Sometimes it's you might have to put a little piece of tape over top, but we will see. Usually I use the competitive edge. Another professional recommended me to try these. Well, recommended to all of us on YouTube to try these, so that's what I'm going to do. I simply press my nail form together on the bottom. Keep this side open, which I just didn't do. It's totally different not working on yourself. Okay, then I slide it up underneath it. Let's get another one. Okay, press all the bottom together. Got a nice looking C curve going on. Slide it up under the nail. Get it as flush to the bottom as you can. I'm so used to working on myself, this is weird. Get tape it, hook it down. Now if this was yourself, this would stick really, really well. I'm gonna use a little piece of tape or tape just to ensure. It just doesn't like to stick to silicone. Any trainer hand will do that to you. Okay, you just make sure that everything is flush underneath. I like to have it even. See my nails are even underneath. That's what I like. Some people prefer it to have an arch. That's just not my style. Some people cut their forms to fit. This is a fake finger, so why am I going to do that? I don't even do that on myself. Before you put the form on, put the bonder on. It's better because you don't get it all over your form. The gel won't tend to stick to your form. So I'm gonna get out my some clear hard gel. In all sorts of colors. You can get them in builders, in hard gels. I just take a little out. Don't get any on the back of the brush if you can. If you do, it's not that big of a deal. And when I'm starting, it's been so while since I've started, I put a light layer all over. Some call it a slip layer, some call it a wetting layer. This is my first time using this brush. I should have put some gel through the brush first. Put it all the way up. This is just a wet, the nail here. Then I touch right into the gel. And I just keep it attached. This time you're not building much structure to it. You're just getting the base down because I'm going to attempt to encapsulate some more stuff in here. 
Now some do like strings and strings and strings. I'm just more of a pusher puller. Get it up to the edge. I'm gonna go longer than I've ever gone before. That's why I'm having to pull up more hard gel. I've never made a nail this long. But once on myself, and it didn't go over so great with my little feathered babies. I had to take it off after I got it on. Not really, I'm just trying to get it close to the shape I want, but you can file that so easily. Just make sure that right here is attached. I've never made one this long off of myself, so I'm gonna give this a cure. This gel, it only usually takes five seconds, so I can get rid of all of this now. And boy, I got it taped on here really good. So just be careful when you're taking it off that you remove it from underneath. Just kind of pinch it. and remove it. And you have your basic nail structure down. Now if I wanted to just finish this up with hard gel, I could just put hard gel over this, cure it, clean it, top coat it, I'm done. But I wanna play around a little bit. So what I did before the video was I mixed together a blue and a yellow hard gel, made it into green. And it's glittering because I added a little bit of the She Modern Green Glow in the Dark. It's actually a really fine glitter that glows. I forgot what color it glows, but we will see. I'm going to attempt to give a nod towards St. Towards Patrick's Day. And also so that you're able to see it a little bit better. I'm not used to doing this long of extension, so I didn't pick up a lot of gel. But it doesn't matter, just keep on going. This way you are able to see it as well as I'm able to see it. The idea is just to slide it and smoosh it and push it over until you have the look that you're going for. And I've never ombre one in. I'm just gonna put a little bit light here. To sort of ombre my hard gel in a little bit since I'm using a clear and a green. You know what? I'm thinking I'm going all green. I didn't like that look. I could just finish this off with all green, but that's just not me. I'm not putting a lot next to the cuticle yet because I want to put it, I'm gonna put another, encapsulate this with another layer of hard gel over top. And I'll get closer to the cuticle at that time. Oh, let's get close now. Cause it's green, I've never, actually done a color but it's really hard to show on camera without a color so this is my first time ever encapsulating color with hard gels and glitter on film anything touching the skin. Now I'll give this a full cure according to the directions. Now this is cured, it's going to be tacky. Let's get rid of this, this is, this is just, she looks wounded. You can see all underneath, the glitter's protected by the hard gel on the bottom. 
And I'm gonna put a little hard gel on the top. I just dip into my pot. And with this long a nail, I'm probably gonna need a lot more than I planned on. And I would usually just go for it. there I'm not used to doing such long extensions I'm used to doing just a little shorter than what I've got on so I'm just gonna build up that apex area right in the center and then right across here and see it's bubbled up that's not a problem you can do the magic trick of turning the finger upside down and it'll pull to the center of that nail any potholes go back and add a little bit more it's more like a soft divot in my road I don't want it let's go back and add that in Smooth anything out, just touch it up. If it starts to go down your sidewalls, you will need to remove it. Luckily, it hasn't touched her yet. You can cure as you go as well. Straight. If I were wearing this, I would put another layer of gel, make it perfect, flip it over if I needed to. Since I'm not wearing it, that's not bad. Or you could just buff it to perfection. That's what I did. For the longest time. I have to say, I'm loving these. These are the um, Alpha 6 Short Oval Gel Brush. I'm loving these. Because they shrink up so nice and small. Then I would take my cleanser or alcohol, whichever you prefer. just do that but that get a little messy here so I'm just going to use an alcohol wipe don't wipe it onto your skin now this is a flexi this is a practice hand it comes out if you need to buff the surface go ahead and buff the surface gels are so easy if I wasn't doing the glitter I would have just put on the the first layer of gel, real light, took off the form, put another layer on, good to go. But I made it more complicated. So now I'm just gonna file this down. I have a little bit left right here that's not shaped perfect. I'm the kind of person that can go over and reshape a nail hundreds and hundreds of times. Anytime I don't have polish on, I am reshaping it. You can go in with a small bit if you had anything escape under your form and just clean that out. I did it this time. Okay, if you have anything sharp underneath, take care of that. Then I would spray it with alcohol, but for the sake of filming, I'm just gonna use an alcohol wipe. If you have trouble with your, your nail staying in your flexi finger, you put a little tack down below, get out some of those fake nail sticker doodads. Like these, put it under your fake nail before you put it in your form. That will just help. If this was on my finger or someone else that I was doing, I would make, I'd get rid of that add a little more gel or buff it out but for the sake of time and my patience on this video I'm going to skip that okay and there's my first ever stiletto length nail sculpted 
on my flexi finger in real life on camera. I usually only do nails about as long as this is the longest ever I've done. I've got to go wash my hands after, get rid of all this dust. It's important that you get rid of all the dust. You don't want to breathe it in, you don't want to eat it. And now this nail is good to go, it's touchable. I just find it is a lot easier than poly gel for me. If I didn't put the glitter into the inside, right now I could file away at this until I get down to that green layer. I'm not touching the, the glitters. Maybe I'll show you the lady that was asking me to sculpt a nail on my flexi finger. Maybe I'll do it without the green so that you can see it's a lot easier. It would only be that light layer once I cured it in the lamp, then put down the the clear gel or whatever color I wanted to use. Someone's still wanting me to show how I make it look natural. You can't see a nail under there. This is not my nail. I rebuilt this. I rebuilt this one. So I can make them look pretty natural. So I will be doing that for you still. She's a fellow YouTuber, wanted to know how I did that. Fancy little nail extension. I'm wanting to do so much more to it. But that's a nail extension. I should, if for this long of nail for, to wear it, you need a bigger apex than this. But I don't think I did too bad. My light lines are not straight. They would be absolutely straight. If I did great. If it's on my own hand, I'd be buffing this right now making that perfect as possible, but I don't have to wear it, right? So everybody, thank you for being here with me today. Until next time, you be you and I'll be me. Bye-bye.